guys, this is Rye123 here today with another Roblox scripting tutorial. Now, I know I would say I said I would do morphs next time, but um, those are taking a little bit longer than expected. So today we're going to be doing one of my older requests, which says, Would you be able to do a video on a map changing script? So after a certain amount of time, all players return to a lobby while the server picks a map for the next round. Thanks. Well, um, it's kind of convenient actually. I was working on a script like this just a while ago and I've made one up. So I'll just show you guys how to make your own. So if you want to make like a mini games or like a sword fighting tournament where the map changes. So um, let's go ahead and jump into the studio and we can check it out. Okay guys, here we are in the studio and um, I know this isn't our usual tutorial place. This was a map I was working on for my brother. It was some mini games. Um, it's not on Roblox anymore, so don't try to go looking for it because you'll never find it. Um, and as you can see, I have our standard mini games lobby set up, although I think I had more spawns. I don't know where the rest of them went. Um, no, there's one. Anyways, so let me just go ahead and pull all of the maps out of lighting so that we can see um, how this is going to work if it doesn't lag up on yeah this is gonna lag all right I'll be I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back when this loads okay guys so here we are back I've managed to load all of the um, mini games and they're kind of stacked on top of each other but that's okay because it, it can still work. Um, in fact, I don't actually know why they're stacked on top of each other. They should be in different places. So, I guess that's just what happens when you pull them out of lighting. But anyways, so as you can see here, we have... what I How I have it set up is that every couple of minutes, um, it will pick a map and then you can play on that map for a certain amount of time and will count down till you get teleported back to the lobby and each map will disappear and reappear as it is needed and if you die during the game um, I don't really ha I didn't really set up a scoring method for this before I can this project so if you would die during the game you could just be able to teleport back but here's how this works each map has an invisible spawn location I think yeah here it is spawn each map has an invisible spawn location where every player will spawn um, you don't exactly have to do this but I find it's easier than using coordinates and quicker so um, alright I bet you guys are getting sick about talking about this so let's just go ahead and jump into the script um, we are going to be looking at one that I've already made because this would take quite the while to type out but I will um, go through how to set it up with you and I will post parts of it in the description okay so let's go to the top so obviously at the top we want this to be continuous so we're going to have a while wow, true do loop thing um, and every and then <clears throat> we're going to wait 10 seconds and then it these prints are just for me so that I know what's going on no one in the game will be able to see them so the first thing we do is we get all the players in the game then we need a number from 1 to 8 or 1 to however many maps you have because it's a random number as you can see by this math.random Math dot random low number comma high number and it will pick a random number between those then for me it will print the number down here in the output and then um, it goes through and of course you have to have an if statement for every single number possibility but they're all pretty much the same so <clears throat> this first one of course this first one if we go through so if that random number is one so that means that it, there is the possibility that you will be playing the same game twice but that's okay it would be really hard to fix otherwise but <clears throat> sorry um, 
as you can see it puts the message that we created up here see we made a new message that's one of those big gray boxes with the white text that go across the whole screen for everybody it'll say choosing minigame even though it's already chosen it it's just a little bit of more theatrical statement and then it will say game number and you can either put the number or I was going for a more generic form so it just uses the number that was chosen randomly was chosen and then it will say it's but this is the map lava land made by who knows because I got it off free models because I was in a hurry um, so then you can give a little bit of instruction and you can say how long it lasts for and then you remove the message and again I will have this all in the description I know it's a lot to take in or you can just pause the video periodically and type it out yourself but um so here comes the tricky part so here game dot lighting not mini game one dot clone dot parent is game dot workspace so what that does is that clones our map and puts it in the workspace obviously so that the players can teleport now we need something that we've never seen before this is called a for loop and what this means is that for each player in the game it will do whatever's in this loop so basically this is how you set it up um, this is your variable if you remember our player variable is just all the players in the game so what this is saying is for each player um, first you're going to move them to the spawn then you're going to copy each of the weapons and put them in their backpack and as you can see this I right here that's called um, the, the players are stored in a variable called an array which can store multiple variables at the same time and I know I'm getting really technical on you um, I'll try to explain it more in later tutorials but all you need to know is this is how you set it up um, so this each time it comes through for each player so let's say there were two players there was me Rai123 and then this other guy named Joe Bob so it would say for in so since I'm the first player it would go through me first so this player that would be a one so that means that it would be me Rai123 it would move me to the spawn give me a sword give me another sword and give me another sword then it would go back through for Joe Bob move him and give him the three weapons then we have it wait for two minutes which is 120 seconds and then it will remove the mini game one from workspace then it brings back the message and it says game over thank you for playing um, and then it says um, you have one minute until the start of the next game and then once it ends it will come all the way down here and then it will remove the message and we start back over and you th I know this says wait 10 that's just because I was testing it but you can put 60 in here just to give them a little bit more break time <clears throat> sorry it's kinda early um, I know I said I had a countdown, but I guess I didn't. And then when you have your mini games, sometimes they aren't as complicated if you don't have to give them a weapon and you just have to move them like this one. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this mini game. Um, I'll be sh mini game script. I'll be sure to post the general outline. So I'll probably post like from here to like here just so you guys have the you have the basics and then you have one of the mini games and then you can just copy and paste each of the for each mini game you have so as you can see since I have eight maps there are eight possible random numbers and it goes to eight so I think that's about it for this tutorial it's not like I can really show you anything else this one you'll probably have to um, copy out straight out of the description because it's kind of difficult to type by yourself. It would take a while unless you're like a speedy typer. But um, anyways, um, oh yeah, there is one thing I wanted to say. I'll try to post the script in the comments too because I guess 
some people, I don't know if all of you have, have had trouble copying it out of the description. So I will post a comment on it as well. What is this mini game? But I will try to post it in a comment as well so that you can. Is it just a giant ball? So that you can. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of tired. So that you can copy it right out of the mini game. There we go. Just get through it. Um, um, that's all for this video, though. I think. Oh, it's a sword fight on the ball. Okay. That's all for this video. Um, be sure to rate if you enjoyed and found this helpful. Be sure to comment um, any suggestions or ideas you may want to see scripted, and I'll see if I can do them. Um, I read all my comments. Um, it just might take me a while to get to them all. So be patient, please. And <clears throat> what's the other thing? Oh, yeah, subscribe for more tutorials because it will improve you it will help you out with your game oh I always like this thing look it's like a oh I guess I push play solo oh well let's go look at it but anyways um you can pretty much turn the video off here I'm just messing around see look it spins in opposite ways it's just really laggy right now yeah, I kind of like was advertising my game on my brother's place, which I know is kind of newbie, but oh well. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, um, going to end it off here. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.